Hey everybody, in a previous video we checked out this VSSL gear kit. I built this on their site, they allow you to do a custom build, and I pretty much threw the kitchen sink into this thing. It's got a torch or a flashlight on the bottom, it's got a compass, and a whole bunch of gear inside. If you want to see everything that's in here, I'll put a link to that video in this video in the top right hand corner and in the description below. However, today we're going to check out a different kit from VSSL. This is a pre-made one that they sell on their site. And this is the VSSL Outdoor Essentials Ready Kit. And it's coming up right now on Kitbashed Survival. All right, so the VSSL Outdoor Essentials Ready Kit it's in English and French because this thing is designed in Canada. I don't think it's made in Canada, but that's where it's designed. I'm assuming it's a Canadian company. The Ready Kit was designed to easily add less common but critical backcountry gear to your adventures. So this is not a survival kit. It's a gear kit. Obviously something this small is not going to have much in the way of a complete survival kit, but it does have some handy gear. This is the kind of thing you might put on a day pack or, you know, clip on the side of your backpack, something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. I think this is a reusable zip tie here. Let's find out. Yep, there we go. Yep. I have to save this zip tie. It's reusable. So there it is. Now these cost about $80, but they're very well made. It's all anodized aluminum. I got the green version. If we peel off the film up here, we've got a nice little compass that, let's see, does work. Got the little VSSL logo on the bottom. And then both ends can be removed to access the gear. I'll start with the top. Go. My cats are entering the room. They think I'm reviewing food again. They're going to be disappointed. There's the other side. So if we push, it all should come out. There we go. Like I said, very nice construction. So we've got three things in here. Got some paracord. Looks like 550 paracord. Maybe, oh, let's see. Looks like about six feet of 550 paracord. Not bad. Then we've got a wire saw. Which actually seems to be a little higher quality than your typical cheap wire saw that has the metal rings on either end. This actually has fabric rings which will be easier on your hands, of course. And you can get your whole hand around it rather than those little rings where you can only get your thumb in there. So with these, you can get a good grip on the thing and have some good pulling power. I hate undoing these things on camera because you can never get them put back together again. <laughs> so there that is. Nice little wire saw. And the straps have the VSSL logo on them. Very nice. And then the last container says rope and razor blade. Now we've already got the 550 paracord, so. Okay, this is some thin rope. This is like 175 cord or something like that, 150. Not bad. I'm not gonna unspool this, but it's probably about, if I had to guess, maybe 20 feet or so. Nice wooden spool. And oh, come out of there. Got a little razor blade. And there that is. And that is all the gear in this kit. Now I get to put it all back together. So yeah, there you have it. There's really not much to this thing. It's just a little extra gear to have out in the field. 
It's not nearly as comprehensive as this one that I built, but then again, this one was a lot more expensive. But even something like this is not meant to be a survival kit per se. It's just got a whole bunch of extra gear that might come in handy in the field. And this is just a smaller version of that. And like I said, these run about $80. And I know some people are gonna balk at that and say, I'm not paying $80 for that. Well, you don't have to. Nobody's got a gun to your head, but I kind of like these things. I'm always a fan of any little compact gear kit like this, and although it doesn't have that much gear in it, it is extremely well made. The quality is there, and of course you can customize it because if you go on the VSSL website, you can order extra modules and swap them out and so forth, or build a larger one like I did with that red thing. So yeah, pretty cool. I'll put a link to the VSSL website in the description below. For now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.